I welcome you to this moment around God's Word and prayer again today. As we walk with Jeremiah through his preaching ministry, uh, by the time we get to chapter 20, he's definitely not having a good day. He's just been severely beaten. He's been put in stocks. He's a laughing stock to the whole city of Jerusalem because nobody believes that they are going to be judged by God in any way. And uh, this seems to be all that Jeremiah can preach. In fact, he says in verse 8 of chapter 20, whenever I speak, what comes out of my mouth? Viol proclaiming violence and destruction. Whenever I speak, I cry out. That, I mean, that's the message that God's given. That's the passion that's filled my heart. So as a result, Jeremiah says, the word of the Lord has brought me insult and reproach all day long. This is not helping me personally at all. Uh, it's just making life harder for me. But this is the message God's given me. And he's, he's, not, he's, not, he's not happy about this right now. He, he's suffering. He's hurting. Nobody's responding. You can imagine the discouragement that he's feeling. And, and so in verse 9, he said, I, um, he said I, 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 could, I could decide just to stop preaching. Maybe I'll just stop preaching. And he says, but if I say that, I will not mention his word or speak anymore in his name. Here's the problem. His word is in my heart like a fire, like a fire shut up in my bones, and I am wearying of holding it in. Indeed, I cannot. I mean, when I preach God's word, I mean, I get beat up. But when I decide I won't preach God's word and avoid another beating, he said, his word becomes so power, is so powerful in me. It's like fire shut up inside me. And it's literally holding harder to hold back the word of God um, and, uh, and, and, and bear the consequence than, than just being quiet about it. It's, it, it's like it's easier, it's easier just to preach rather than hold it in. Even though when I preach it, it causes me so much trouble. This is a powerful picture of God's word being shut up in our bones like fire. This is why we need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. This is why God's Spirit is in our lives. You know, Paul said to Timothy, he said, when you received the Holy Spirit, you didn't receive a timid spirit, but you received a spirit of love and of power and of self-discipline. That, that love that motivates us, that power that energizes, that self-discipline that stabilizes us, and that Spirit of God who always works through His Word until... It's, it's harder to keep it in than it is to give it out and have to suffer the consequences for it. And, and, and behind of all, all of that it is a mighty God working on your behalf. Verse 11, but the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior. So my persecutors will stumble and not prevail. I mean, there's going to be a long-term picture to this. Someday God's going to vindicate me because he's the mighty warrior. But what he's put inside of me right now is the fire of of his word. We need to be in his word constantly and we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And you put those two things together and it is like fire shut up in our bones. May, may God just give you that today. If you're, if you're weak on the side of convictions, if you don't know what you believe, if you're battling doubt, I pray God's word will be like fire in your bones as you just say, Lord Jesus, reveal yourself to me. And, and if, if you're needing to to, to speak the truth and love to people. If there's people who you need to share the gospel with. And you know, it's, it's, it just sometimes it does feel easier just to keep it in. But I'm praying you can't live with that. I'm praying that eventually the word of the Lord in you will be so strong that you can't keep it in. Just like Jeremiah couldn't keep it in. May God just fill us with his spirit. May we know what the power of his word in our lives is like. Because he so loves the people around us that he doesn't want us to stay silent. And so, Lord, we ask you to baptize us in the Holy Spirit. I pray for every person watching and listening right now. May they just be filled with the Holy Spirit. And I pray that your word will be like fire shut up in their bones and that you will make them your witnesses in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. We can't do this ourselves. But we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Fill us today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.